Listen, I got a story for you that's hotter than the summer's heat wave. Have you heard of Chernobyl, the nuclear disaster back in 1986 that sent shockwaves around the world? It showered Bavaria with radioactive particles, making it seem like the obvious culprit behind the high radioactivity in Bavarian wild boars. Oh, you didn't know? <laughs> then let's talk about it. Let's get cryptic. Now, something didn't quite add up. The half-life of cesium-137, which is a radioactive element linked to nuclear reactors like Chernobyl, is around 30 years. So theoretically, those boars' radioactivity should have dwindled, or so we thought, right? Well, here's where the wild boar paradox comes into play. These Bavarian boars kept their radioactivity levels high despite the passage of time. Scientists have scratched their heads for years trying to unravel this mysterious anomaly. Now hold on because there's a huge plot twist, but I got you, so stay with me. A recent study published in the Environmental Science and Technology Journal on August 30th finally cracked the case. Researchers collected meat samples from 48 boars across 11 Bavarian districts between 2019 and 2021. They played detectives by analyzing the cesium-135 to cesium-137 ratio in these samples, revealing a unique radioactive fingerprint for each source. So what did they find? Hmm. Well, it wasn't just Chernobyl. It was the ghost of the Cold War. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You heard me right. Fallout from the nuclear weapons test during those tense times contaminated the soil where these boars searched for truffles. All right, now catch this tea. They compared those boar meat samples to soil samples from Chernobyl, Fukushima, and even historical lung tissue from Austria. This lung tissue dated all the way back to the 1960s, and it had the same radioactive fingerprint left by the Cold War nuclear tests. And guess what? 88% of the boar samples exceeded the German limit for radioactive cesium. That's a lot of radiation. Between 10% and 68% of that contamination came from the nuclear weapon test, not just Chernobyl. So check this out. The radioactive materials from both the nuclear test and the Chernobyl seeped deep into the earth and they were gobbled up by those truffles our boars love in the door. But it sounds to me like that's a secret ingredient in the wild boar paradox recipe. I'm just saying. So what's my take on this hot mess of a story? Here it is. Now, you know, I wouldn't be cryptics if I didn't take a moment to talk about the serious consequences of radiation on our ecosystem and their environment. It's not just a problem for these Bavarian boars, it affects us all. Radiation can wreak havoc on wildlife and their habitats. The contamination from the nuclear events like Chernobyl and the Cold War weapon test lingers in the environment for years, hell, even centuries. And as we've seen, it can accumulate in fungi, truffles, which many animals depend on for food. This very contamination can disrupt ecosystems, causing harm to not only the animals, but also plants and microorganisms. It's like a domino effect impacting the entire food chain. And please don't even get me started on the radioactive fallout. They can lead to genetic mutations in animals, making it harder for them to reproduce and survive. It's like a threat to biodiversity and can even push to some species to the brink of extinction. And baby, it doesn't even stop there. Radioactive materials can seep into the oil and water, affecting agriculture and potentially making its way into our food supply. This poses health risks to humans as radiation exposure can lead to various illnesses like cancer. It's a serious health concern, one of which I'm just not prepared to handle right now. So Monica, there you have it. Let's not underestimate the impact of radiation on our planet. It's a reminder that our actions can lead to long lasting consequences on the environment and its inhabitants. We need to continue supporting scientific research to understand and mitigate these effects. Now I gotta go. Be sure to subscribe to Cryptics Media, like this video, share if you care, and I'll see you next time. Ow! And remember, stay informed, stay curious, and let's do our part to protect this beautiful planet.